Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. Tonight I wanna to show you something. We finally have quail and I am so excited. There they are. So I had 12 eggs, so far we have five. There's one more that's hatching and moving right now. I'm so excited. Look how cute they are. They're like super cute. They started hatching tonight. So a few people have asked me to show what I do with my harvest. Um, and so tonight I have green beans that I need to blanch and freeze. I have not started canning just yet. Um, I will get into that. So I'm gonna show you how I blanch my green beans and freeze them for future use. Start with a pot of boiling water on high. Clean your beans both ends to make sure that you don't get a part of the bean that was on the plant or the part of the plant. Add your beans to some hot boiling water. Allow them to boil for about three to five minutes. Throw them into some ice cold water. This will stop the cooking process of the beans. Spray a sheet pan with a no stick spray. Add your beans to the pan. Pop your beans in the freezer. So I wanna start a new series where I interact with you all from the comments. Um, on video, I am not ready to do a live just yet. When I am, I will let everyone know. I know there were some people who were interested in doing lives for whatever reason. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm very new to this whole YouTube and thing and YouTube said, turn on super thanks. So I turned on super thanks. I did not realize I could see super thanks. There were two of you who sent me super thanks and I am very happy for that and I'm very appreciative. So I know it's been a few weeks ago, um, but Sophie G, thank you very much for the super thanks. And Black Snake, I appreciate you so much for the super thanks. Someone said, what does your neighbors say? I want chicken so bad, but I don't think my neighbors will be okay with it. My neighbors don't seem to have a problem with it. Um, my neighbor on the left side, she doesn't have a problem with pretty much anything that happens over here. Um, and my neighbors on the other side, their mother actually has chickens and I'm actually trying to get some chickens from her because apparently they just keep having new chickens um, and they say, do you want more? So I don't have a problem with um, having chickens in an urban setting. My neighbors don't have a problem. Some days they can be a little loud, um, but no one has ever complained about them. They know I have them. Sometimes we have them in the front yard and um, I I've never had a problem. Um, the smell is not outrageous or anything. So no one is bothered by the smell. Um, and so my answer to that is, my neighbors don't really care about the fact that I have chickens. A few days ago, someone said, have you come up with any other way to collect water for the season? Um, I have not. <laughs> the way that I'm collecting water right now is the same way that I will be collecting water this year. What I do plan to do this year um, is to take the bottoms off of the spouts, um, well, the drains around the house and put more totes out so that I can get more water. Um, but it's essentially the same way that I've been saving water for quite some time now. Someone asked me to update my wish list and they said I can put clothes on it or other stuff and they would buy it. I am gonna update my wish list this weekend. Um, and so if you are interested in sending me anything, uh, my wish list will be updated by Monday. Another subscriber asked what, um, how do I record my videos? I'm actually just using an iPhone. And I would like to tell you what series iPhone it is, but I do not get into that. My kids could tell you what series iPhone I have, um, but all of my videos are recorded on my iPhone. Hey, so I am outside um, and there are some things that are going wrong. And so I'm going to remedy those today. Some, some kind of remedy, I guess. I decided to dig down in my potato bed to see what was going on. So when I went to dig, I have at this point found two potatoes that are eaten. So I'm just gonna pull them out and get whatever harvest I can get out of these potatoes that's in the no dig bed. And so what I learned from that is I just need to grow my potatoes in a container, in a bag. Um, they grow just fine that way. Um, and so I'm gonna clear this spot I'm gonna show you really quick where I'm noticing that they're eating my potatoes. Um, I'm gonna clear this spot out and then um, 
I'm gonna figure out something else to plant that's not a root vegetable. Um, and then I have some some tomatoes. Let me, let me show you this potato first. Look at that. That would have been a nice sized potato, but something ate it. So I'm just gonna pull the whole bed out of potatoes out and whatever I get is great. Um, they've already flowered. So once they flower, that's how you know that um, the potatoes are forming under the ground. So they've already flowered. So hopefully I will get some type of decent potato harvest. Just a learning experience. Um, I have a bowl, a mole, whatever I have. It is eating my potatoes. Okay, so here we go. We have two plants right in this area. It was my cherry black. I love that tomato. I don't know what the other one was, but it is dying. Um, I'm probably thinking fungal, but I don't want it to spread to the rest of the cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna pull those out. Um, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these potatoes out and see what I got. So I got less potatoes <laughs> from the harvest than what I put in. But it's cool, no worries. Things happen, right? Um, yeah, I just figured if they were eating them, there's no point in me using space for them to eat them. Um, I could just grow something else that they won't eat, right? So I'm gonna just pull these out. Um, they have a few tomatoes on them. So I'm just gonna grab those let them so this was the green zebra yeah so i'm losing my green zebra and my cherry black this year so i'm gonna go ahead and pull them out you can see that that's the top of the plant and so there's no need to keep uh waiting there's no need to keep waiting it out because um, it's not going to come back. Everything else is still looking good in this bed, so that's a plus. I'm gonna put this in the trash. Um, they normally say to burn things like this. I live in an urban area and I can't just start a fire and burn something. So I'm gonna put these in the trash um, and then I'm gonna decide what variety of cucumber. It's probably going to be the lemon cucumber I'm gonna put in this space. I'm probably gonna only do one because the leaves get so big. I don't want it to start shading the tomato plants. I'm gonna go wash my hands at this point because I don't wanna touch anything else uh, that could be infected by whatever that was. Um, I don't think it was blight because blight normally turns yellow. You get black spots and things like that. I think that was some type of wilt. I'm gonna grab these babies. See what the hype is all about. I don't know if there was any hype. I hyped myself up. <laughs> These are the blue butterfly flowers. They're beautiful. I'm gonna put them in some water and see what I get. By the way, I wanna show you all something and I'm so excited. <laughs> Guess what is finally making an appearance in my garden. Finally, a zucchini is making an appearance. So now I know this is the zucchini plant and the squash one is over there. Looking a little yellow, but still, um, I'm just waiting to see if I get some squash as well. Tell me what you think. I'm thinking to direct sow some cucumbers in this spot, but I'm also thinking to stop pruning the two tomato plants that's left over here and just kind of let them grow because now there'll be more space. So do you think I should direct so or just let the tomatoes that are left grow wild instead of pruning them? Instead of pulling suckers and stuff? Tell me in the comments below. I'm gonna hold off on doing that. Another thing that has happened is, remember we planted two bags, uh, well, no, we planted a few bags together, I believe, of potatoes. Um, this one here did not sprout. Um, and then when I pulled it up, it was still there, but it was kind of, um, it, it, it wasn't growing. So I pulled it out. Matter of fact, there it goes right there. So I guess it was rotting. I'm just gonna throw this in here. Yes, it has a lot of sprouts and I should probably pull off one, 
but that's not what I'm gonna do. And it's already scaled over. I normally don't worry about that in like all of the rest of them that I planted without scaling it over and drying it out did just fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. Yep, just like that. And that should start growing too. Um, so I'm really out here fixing problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I harvested some things, some beans. I harvested a cucumber, um, those potatoes. I'm, I'm out here fixing things that's wrong. If your garden maybe is not doing what you want it to do, it's okay. Um, there's always an opportunity for a plan B. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really didn't have plan Bs this year. Um, I got rid of all of my starts. I gave them to other people. Um, and so I didn't have a plan B for anything that died early. Um, not that I probably would have replanted. Um, where am I going with this? The wrong way. I'm supposed to be putting it this way. Um, I didn't have a plan B. And so I'm literally kind of flying by the seat of my pants. If something dies, um, a tomato plant dying is not a big deal. I have a lot of tomatoes growing now the fact that i lost a variety that i really liked that's a little disheartening um and so maybe next year i'll keep a few starts but it's okay i'm gonna um i'm gonna come up with a plan b either let the ones that's growing go wild or either put some cucumbers in there also if you think of something else i could put in there that i can still plant now or maybe go find at a store already started. I'm open to those too. <laughs> um, everyone doesn't have a long growing season. I do understand that, uh, but there are short varieties of a lot of plants. Um, and then of course, leafy green vegetables, you can harvest those at any size and still eat them. Um, so if things aren't going the way that you had hoped, like I had not hoped to pull out my black cherry tomatoes i love those tomatoes and now i will not have any more this season um just think of a plan b to get you through the season also really quick want to show you all i have more tromboncino squash coming on right there and there's another one coming right here and one right there tromboncino squash for the win this year <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I hope you are off on Monday as well because I know I am. Um, and I will see you Wednesday. Also, I know I did not post Wednesday, but, and I didn't tell you I wasn't going to post. It was a lot going on. <laughs> have a wonderful week. Bye.